What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the monitoring systems that I use. I got a couple of them. I got the Edge CTS2 and I also have the Banks iDash. They're both really, really, really good. The Edge CTS2 for me, why I like it, it's a little bigger and I'm like blind, so I can't see. I put this one on there and this one uh, works really, really good. It's got a lot of PIDs, uh, a lot of options, a lot of uh, stuff you can hook up, EGTs. Uh, they'll send you a uh, thermo uh, coupler right here so you can hook up all kinds of sensors. Uh, there's a lot of options for this. And, but, you know, like I said, the reason I'm, I'm not using it, number one is the information that this thing gives you. It gives you a lot of info, more info than I will ever use in my life. Uh, it is a great system. But... The Edge system that I use, it gives you sort of the generic, the basics, you know, and I'll let you guys choose and pick what you want. But uh, the reason why I run this one, well, number one, it's a little bigger screen. I can see because I'm blind. I can't, you know, barely see when I hook that one up. And uh, number two, it's just, it's it's generic, you know. So I, I mainly want to look at my EGT's boost uh, vein position. That's about it. That Banks one, I mean, gives you everything. So, so many different options that it's it's insane. And I'll show you right now, we'll talk about the Edge one. I will show you uh, how this Edge one works. All right, there you go, go ahead. Tell everybody. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, see, now the camera's on, now, now everything changes. So guys, before I explain to you of the Edge, we have arrived here with the Genesis. Genesis is actually sending me a photo. He's over here uh, cleaning up a rammer. And uh, hey, can you get your fingers out of there? I'm trying to vlog over here. So uh, I'll show you guys the ram over here, but Genesis, you guys asked me about his uh, new shop. Well, it's not ready yet. You can blame that guy. Hey, we're trying, we're trying. They're trying, they're trying. But they got a nice old rammer over here. This thing does have some goodies on it. Okay, all right, it looks good. General Grabber tires. Very nice, very nice. This is here, well, because Genesis is going to, I guess, clean it up. Get it all uh, you know, nice and shiny. Now, is it really bad? The swirl scent. Oh, oh my goodness! It's not like a. Holy moly! You don't even need a camera. Though. Yeah, that's crazy bad. What the heck? That's been dropped off. Wow. How long is this gonna take you to do? A couple days. Jeez. We're not coding it, so. Are you just getting the swirls out and then you're gonna put some wax? So guys, looks like I just found out from Nick over here that uh, this guy wants to race west. He wants to race you west, someone. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll we'll set up we'll set him up with uh, we'll set him up with Wes first, uh, and I wouldn't turn it on in here just because you guys are gonna get smoked out. Probably it's gonna stink a little bit. A little bit. Uh, we all know what this sounds like, but uh, Wes, if you're watching, buddy, uh, well, I guess not. I don't know who this guy we is. We know each other. I mean, he's oh, he's in the Navy. Navy. Oh, okay. Navy, All right. Well, uh, looks like Wes, you're you're getting called out, man. So uh, we're gonna have to get a hold of this guy and. That's no, it's Wes's Instagram. Wes, go DM Wes. Tell him to raise this guy. Well, who, what's this guy's Instagram? My, I don't know his Instagram. Uh, well, okay. So if he's watching, actually, you could just text him and say, "Listen, uh, DM DM uh, Wes, and we're gonna we're gonna have to set this up." All right, guys. Now back to showing you uh, how this thing works. So, uh, like I was saying in the beginning of the video, this is what I like about the Edge system is it's just a it's a bigger screen. Some people will say I don't like that big screen it gets in the way of their vision of driving uh, that's fine you know it's, everybody's got their own personal opinion but some people like me like the bigger screen well because I can see the numbers better and this big screen doesn't you know bother me or block any of my vision so what I got here is I got the boost top left I got the uh, vein position the VGT position top right and then the two side numbers here are your fuel rail pressure and desired fuel rail pressure. Uh, you want to make sure both of those are pretty much always matching. They don't have to be exact spot on, but they'll be off maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Uh, you got fuel level percentage, and then you got my transmission. The transmission here, 163. And then you got the gear right here. So it's in sixth gear with the torque converter locked. The middle one is the EGT. That is the one I stuck the probe on the... Um, and the manifold in the back on the passenger side and then you got your coolant temp at the bottom and you know like I said a lot of these I have right here 
you know, I got your, my coolant temp, I got my training tune, I have my uh, oil pressure temperature, all that, you can do all that on here. Um, I haven't played with this, there are a bunch of things you can do, and I'm sure there's some more PIDs that I can add on here, I just haven't yet, so I will, um, I'll play with it some more and maybe add stuff that I need, you know, that I don't have already on this screen. My main thing is I like to monitor the EGTs, especially when towing, the boost, the actual physical number, not so like here it doesn't give you a number, uh, it just gives you, you know, these lines. So it looks like guys, at the end of the day, it's going to be, you know, what looks good to you, what you like, what you want to monitor uh, with the banks, the iDash, I think you could set up like two or three of them and you can monitor just a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just monitoring, you know, the basics. I'm not monitoring, you know, I'm not going in depth with the monitoring stuff. So I guess it just, it depends on what you guys want to monitor at the end of the day. I mean, that's about it. They both hook up to the OBD2, so they're very, very easy to install. I mean, this is just plugged into the OBD2 and ran it right in here. There's a little HDMI that's plugged in the back, and that's it. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.